There are really three reasons why we're having this meeting. The first is this one, antimicrobial resistance. The second is public perception. And, and the third is uh, residues. Unfortunately, and most critically, some bacteria become multi-resistant. So they're not only just resistant to one antibiotic, they're resistant to, to multiple antibiotics. There are now multi-resistant bacteria out there that are effectively untreatable with any antibiotic in human medicine. That's kind of the trajectory, that's the concern, is that the trajectory that, that we have in, in animal production as well. So I suppose when we come to thinking about antibiotic use, this is our, our mantra really, to use as little as possible. So in other words, we're using, you know, we're using as little as we can possibly do in terms of antibiotics, but as much as is necessary. So where there is a need, it is used, but it's used appropriately. So as little as possible, as much as necessary. And obviously as little as possible is really trying to reduce the drivers for antibiotic use. And the drivers for antibiotic use are obviously animal health and animal disease. So it's things like ventilation, good husbandry, calf hygiene, biosecurity, you know, not buying in disease, isolating your cattle from risks of disease from neighbouring herds and, and animal movement herds. What you do about mastitis and how you tackle mastitis will be an individual issue for your particular herd, in your situation, so with your vet have a discussion. But just general pointers. Have a plan developed with your vet. I mean, do, one of the things that I think we, as vets, but perhaps also as farmers, fail to do is have, have protocols. We do see the same things time and time again. Whether it's a mastitic animal, high cell count animal, lame cow, scarring calf, pneumonic store animal, whatever it might be. These are sort of standard things that we see. Do you have a protocol? Do you have a, a plan in place when this happens on my farm? Many of the problems, almost all of the veterinary problems that one sees on any farm, on a dairy farm, is in some way related to or due to something that's going not ideally within the management. So again, just to, just to reiterate the key things, I would say is have a plan have a protocol in place that you've talked through with your practitioner and ensure excellent hygiene.